Dear old Windows 3.1, well, it may look old-fashioned now, but it had one thing that I really miss. It had this program manager. This shows sets of icons inside Windows. You could drag the icons around and click them to launch a program. I've already explained how you can create your own program manager in C Sharp. In the version I showed in the last lesson, you could drag and drop programs, documents, or entire subdirectories from the Windows File Explorer in order to add buttons with icons onto the launch pad. You can delete the buttons or move them using a mouse menu. And you can also drag the buttons to new positions, again using the mouse. Whenever buttons are added or deleted, or when the window is resized, the buttons auto-align due to the fact that they're contained inside a flow layout panel. But what if you don't want them to auto-align? What if you prefer the way the old Windows program manager used to do it, where the buttons or the icons would stay fixed in place? Now, in this lesson, I'll show you how to do exactly that. I'm Hugh, and this is another lesson in a series about programming an application and document launcher in C Sharp. If you haven't watched the previous lessons, use the playlist, and that's shown down below, to find all the lessons in the right order. So this time, instead of using an automatically flowing panel, a a flow layout panel, I've just used a plain panel, which doesn't do auto-alignment. And you might think that should be all there is to it. Well, there's a bit more to it than that. Let me show you if I try running this now and load up my saved set of buttons. And, ooh, there's supposed to be a whole load of buttons. Control, left click, and they've all stacked up one on top of the other because this panel is not doing the auto alignment for me. So I've got to align those buttons in some sensible way myself. So this is how I've done it. I've gone into my code and let me uncomment this and try it again. So again, I load up my saved configuration and this time the buttons are spaced in some sensible way. So what does set button pause do? The whole point here is to put the new button B at the end of the set of buttons that are already on the form. I start off by seeing if there are some buttons by calculating main panel dot controls dot count. And if that is greater than zero, then I know that there are some buttons on the form. Otherwise, I just set the location of the new button to a point that's 10 on the X and 10 on the Y, that's to the top left-hand corner of the form, the first button. But if there are some buttons on the form, then I create a new point and I calculate that point by getting the last X of the last button, the button that is at the end of the list of buttons on the form currently, it's location X and I calculate uh, the width of that button plus 10, that's a spacing factor. And then I create a new point for the new button that's 10 pixels to the right of the last button on the form. Assign that point to the location and that puts the button right at the end of the existing buttons on the form. But of course then if I save the configuration I would have to save all the positions for all the buttons. And there are a few other problems, you know, what, what happens about uh, multiple lines. I would have to calculate the Y offsets as well as the X offsets and so on, which I haven't done in this version, but you know, if you want a programming project, go ahead and do it. I'm personally not sure that the gains of doing this are sufficiently uh, beneficial to do without the flow layout panel, but it's an option. I'll again show you my code. I'll flip down through my code so that if you want to see what I've done, uh, you can pause the video and try it out yourself. It's entirely up to you whether you use the auto layout as I showed in the previous video or whether you do all the layout yourself. The old Windows control panel, even though it let the buttons stay or the icons stay where they were dragged rather than auto aligning them, it also had a menu item so that you could force the adjustment, the, the repositioning of the buttons to, to lay them out nicely. And that's something you probably want to add to this application if you decide to do it this way. 
Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and click that bell so that you get a notification whenever I upload new lessons. And I'll see you again soon.